Hello, in this video we're going to look at production runs, startup costs, and inventory holding costs. And we're going to try to determine the cost minimizing number of production runs. A firm produces, say, 10,000 units per year. It sells these units at a uniform rate throughout the year. The firm needs to decide on how many production runs to split up producing this 10,000 units of output. For example, the firm could do two production runs of 5,000 units each, or maybe four production runs of 2,500 units each, and so on. There are going to be trade-offs, however, between production setup costs and inventory holding costs. If the firm produces all 10,000 units in one production run, it minimizes production setup costs, just doing one, but it's going to incur large inventory holding costs. On the other hand, if the firm spreads the 10,000 units of production over many separate, albeit smaller, production runs, it minimizes inventory holding costs, but it incurs many more production setup costs. Let's say that the setup cost per production run is $1,500, and the inventory holding cost is $3 of the average inventory size. Our objective is to determine the optimal size of each production run and number of production runs to minimize the sum of inventory holding costs and production setup costs. The average inventory size will equal Q divided by 2, where Q is the size of the production run, 5,000 units, 1,000 units, some number like that. For example, if Q equals 10,000, the size of the inventory at the beginning of the period is 10,000, and then it is zero at the end of the period as all the inventory gets moved and sold. So the average inventory size is simply 10,000 plus zero divided by two, or 5,000. If the firm did more production runs, say it did two production runs of 5,000 each, the size of the inventory at the beginning of the period is 5,000 and zero at the end of the period. So the average inventory size in each period will be 5,000 plus zero divided by two or 2,500. So the average inventory size in the first period will be 2,500 and the second period will be 2,500 as well. The cost of inventory equals inventory holding cost times the average inventory size. So the cost of inventory is going to be 3 times Q divided by 2, where that $3 was given at the beginning. So this is just going to be 1.5Q. And the cost of the production setup is going to be the setup cost times the number of production runs. Each production run needs a separate setup cost. And the cost of the production setup is going to be 1500 that number was given earlier, multiplied by 10,000 divided by Q. So, for example, if Q is 10,000, we do one production run of 10,000, the firm will incur only one setup cost of $1,500. If we did two production runs of 5,000 each, 10,000 divided by 5,000 would be two production runs, and two production runs at $1,500 apiece would be $3,000 of production setup costs. So, adding these two costs up for our total cost, we get the following equation. Just rewriting that last result and simplifying here a little bit, 1,500 times 10,000. Our goal then is to minimize this equation with respect to Q. So just rewriting this a little bit, bringing this Q up into the numerator by putting a minus 1 on that exponent here. Taking the derivative now with respect to Q and setting that result equal to 0, we're interested in minimizing. Moving some things around, and now bringing this q to the minus second power down into the denominator. Cross multiplying here. Going to cross multiply now. Divide through by 1.5. And now taking the, after we do that, now taking the square root of a million, we get 1,000. So the size of our production run should be 1,000 units. Each production run will have 1,000 units in it. And therefore, the number of production runs, since we're trying to produce 10,000 units over this period of time or this year, it's going to be 10,000 divided by Q, or 10 production runs of 1,000 units each. So the setup cost here, we got 10 production runs times the cost 
per production run. We've got $15,000 in setup costs. And our inventory holding costs is going to be given by this equation. And we're going to get $1,500 there, 3000 divided by 2. Okay, that's it. Hope you found this video helpful.